Just a little shout out to all those booktubers out there that know what it's like to film, realize that your audio didn't pick up and have to refilm again. Hi, my name is Amber and this is my May wrap up. The first book that I read this month was Geekerella by Ashley Poston. Now I have talked about this book multiple times on my channel already. I do have a review up which I will have it linked down below where you can learn all of my thoughts on this book because if I start talking too much about it I will never stop. I love this book so much. It's very very sweet. It is a story about a girl who is a giant fan of a show called Starfield and Starfield is getting a reboot with a new movie and a new cast and she is not a huge fan of the main actor. Now this is told in two perspectives and the other perspective is Darian that actor. By circumstance they end up texting each other. Things kind of just go crazy and adorable from there. This is a fantastic book with amazing characters and it is absolutely beautiful inside and out. Again, go check out that review if you want to know more, but I loved this and I gave it five out of five stars. Next I read A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J Maas. This is the third and final book in the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. So of course I was very excited to get into this but also extremely nervous for what was going to happen. I am so incredibly happy with how this ended. I am excited for everything that's going to come in the next few books. While it's not going to be following the same story in the main characters, it is definitely going to be following some of my favorite characters in this story and I am incredibly excited to get some questions answered that were left open in this and I'm really excited for that. Overall though, this book emotionally destroyed me. I am not going to talk about any spoilers but by the end of this I was just so drained emotionally and tired. Like I just felt exhausted. This book had moments that had me cracking up and smiling like crazy as well as those moments that had me crying and the moments that had me extremely angry. I've never had a book make me go through so many emotions at once. I love the series so much. It's definitely one of my favorite series, if not my favorite series of all time, and it means so, so much to me. So of course, I ended up giving this five stars. Next, I picked up Always and Forever Lara Jean by Jenny Han. This is the third and final book in the To All the Boys I Love Before series. Now, I loved the first two books so much, and it could have easily stood on its own as a duology, but I am incredibly happy that there was a third third and final book. I loved being able to continue on with Lara Jean's story and see their romance and see this family again. I love these characters so much and it's such an adorable, sweet, fun series. Again, I don't want to spoil anything because it is a third book in the series and I just enjoyed this so much and I am sad that this is the end, but I am very happy that we got this last book. Next, I picked up Internet Famous by Danica Stone. I received an arc of this through a giveaway that I actually won last month and decided to get to it this month because it comes out June 6th. This is a story about Madison who is an internet famous blogger and one day she has to deal with the struggles of not only a commenter flirting with her but also a troll that has been making her life miserable. This is a very fun lighthearted read. It is definitely quick and interesting and while I did enjoy it overall I think it was just kind of an okay book for me. I, I did enjoy it and I'm happy that I got it and was able to read it but I ended up just giving it three stars. Next I picked up By Your Side by Casey West. After reading The Distance Between Us, By Your Side was definitely at the top of my list on ones that I wanted to read next by this author and I was not disappointed. I loved every second of this. It is incredibly sweet and adorable and fun and hilarious. It is a story about a girl and a boy who get trapped inside of a library over the weekend and it just has so many incredibly fun cute moments but honestly one of the big things that I loved about it was the fact that our main character has anxiety and you really get to see how she personally deals with it. It was really interesting for me to see family and friends for her really kind of wanting to help and understanding what what this means for her and it was really great being able to see that and I really loved that aspect of this book. I ended up giving it five stars. Next I picked up Avenged by Amy Tintira. This is the sequel to Ruined which I loved and was definitely one of my favorite books of last year. I was so incredibly excited to dive back into this world with these characters and this book honestly was just as good as the first one for me. I loved every second of it. It was extremely enjoyable and extremely crazy just like the first one was. One of the things I loved about the first book was while it is a lighter fantasy it's not as as high fantasy and heavy as most fantasies are. It has moments where you're just completely shocked with the blood and the gore and the insanity of it and this book still had that and I loved it and the characters in this you can't help but fall in love with and there are new ones that I just absolutely adore and I am extremely excited to see what is going to happen in the next book. I gave this five stars. The last book that I picked up this month was volume one of Sailor Moon. I've talked about this a million times but I loved the anime growing up. I love Crystal but I have never read the manga and I finally picked up the first one this month and adored it. I loved every second of it. It is just as phenomenal as the show and I gave it five stars. So those are all the books that I read in the month of May. Let me know what you guys read down below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.